everyone, Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at one of my favourite extensions for doing exactly that, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And that extension is Moat. If you haven't heard of Moat before, it's a great way of saving yourself time on feedback. Um, if I'm talking on behalf of all teachers here, uh, it's certainly for myself, I, I really dislike marking. It takes me a long time. Um, and this is one of the ways that I have found uh, that saves me a lot of that time. So I'm going to show you how that works today. So the first thing you need to do is go to uh, the Chrome Web Store. So you can type in the bar at the top, Chrome Web Store. And you click on the first link at the top. And then you're going to want to search for the extension Moat. So it's the top one that comes up here, Voice, voice Notes and Feedback. But you can click on there and Add to Chrome. So I've already got it installed, so it shows me uh, remove from Chrome, but you'll see the install button. Okay, so this there's lots of different ways of using Moat um, now. There used to only be the way of leaving feedback in a particular document, but now there's lots of different ways, and I'll do some videos on that uh, at a later point. But today we're going to be focused on Google Classroom in particular. So I'm in Google Classroom at the moment, and I need to mark some of my students' work. So I'm going to go to the first document here. It can be any document in Google Classroom, not just the top one. And I'm going to go to view assignment. So here I'm going to see the students that have or have not completed the work. And I'm going to go into Emma's document here to mark her work. Now this is only a, a demo document, so there's no actual work on here to mark. But for the purpose of the demonstration or the video, I'm going to show you how it works in any case. So I can highlight certain pieces of text. And you'll see on the right hand side I have an add comment button up here. So I can click on here. And you'll notice in the comment box now, I have the moat icon, which will allow me to record a voice note. So this is great for saving you time. You don't have to type anything out or copy anything from the comment bank. You can just speak directly to your computer and let the computer do the work. So let's, let's try it out. Hi, Emma. This is a voice note for you just to mark all of your work. Hit done when you're finished. And you can just click comment. Now what this will do, it will pull through a transcript of uh, what I've said. It's not 100% there, to be honest. It is only about 90%, but it's nearly there, so we, we can live with that. Um, and we can click the play button, and it plays as an audible uh, message to our students. They can hear our voice when giving feedback. Hi, Emma. This is a voice note for you, just to mark all of your work. Perfect. Okay, so they can hear that without them needing the extension or to do anything else. And they can reply to you really simply and easily. One other thing I really like about Moat in Google Docs is that you can highlight a certain piece of text, click comment, and then you can put a colon in here and start typing, for example, thumbs, okay? And it picks up emojis, so I can put an emoji in here to let students know, brilliant, I like that piece of work, I like that sentence, that description, that's great. Okay, so that's another thing that I really like about it. Another thing you can do is give an overall comment using Moat as well. So I can click over here in, in private comments, click record or hold for Moat book, but I'll do a, a video on that at a later point. I'm going to click to record here. Hi Emma, this is a great piece of work, well done. Click done, click post, and there you have it. You've marked a, piece of, uh, you marked a student's piece of work really quickly and simply. And I can mark a class of 30 students in just under 20 minutes. So hopefully this is going to save you a lot of time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this with your colleagues and friends. You know, spread the word. Help them to work smarter, not harder. That's what we're all about here. Please stay tuned for next time. I'll see you there. Take care.